Hey guys, it's ZJ127 here, and today I'm going to bring you a focused video of <coughs> me showing you guys how to connect your PC, which I have here, to a TV using an HDMI cable. So, the obvious things that you'll need, it's because it's in the title, I mean, of course you would be able to hear and understand that, but the obvious things that you'll need are a computer, such as this one, with an HDMI port, that's on the side of there, I have it, and a TV, and an HDMI cable. Let me just put that back there. Okay, so once you put the HDMI cable into the back of your TV, you're going to want to select which, whichever input it is. And so I have it on HDMI 2. So I'm going to go to the source list. And I'm going to go... Oh, well, actually I have to plug it into my laptop first. Samsung. Yeah. Okay. So you plug it in. I didn't want to do it like this, but if I have to. You plug it in. Screen goes black, looks normal, nothing happened to it. So, I'm going to show you, actually from the beginning, let me click the source list in the settings. HDMI 2 is what it's on. Screen will go black. And the screen kind of dim, uh, went a little darker. Let me just, okay. So, now that the, the mouse, where is my mouse? There we go. Okay, so now that the screen went back to what it looked like, when you plug it into the same input, this is what happens. There we go. No signal, right? But it's plugged in, you say. So, all you're going to need to do, if you're running Windows 8.1, you're just need, gonna need to go over to the right hand corner, either one, scroll down, oh, my bad, scroll down to devices, click project, and then this is where you have your little menu here. So what this option is, duplicate. Duplicate allows you to mirror the screen onto the TV. Extend allows you to extend the desktop so that it you know, it basically stretches your desktop, so it gives you more of a, you know, if you have a small computer, that's pretty helpful. If you, uh, a small computer means a small screen, by the way. So if you have a small screen, that's helpful. Um, it just gives you more desktop room. And the second screen only, I have yet to figure out how that works on this TV, because it just doesn't, like my laptop screen will go black, and the... TV will say no signal, so I can't access either screen to change it back. So I don't know, so I'm not going to do that for you. But duplicate, if I were to click duplicate, the screen will go black. And this will happen. It will basically mirror my desktop over here. <clears throat> and then, if I were to go back... A shortcut for this is Windows key, uh, well the Windows logo key if you don't know what that is, and the letter P. And extending would be basically, you have to, for some reason on this TV you have to do it twice. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put it back to PC screen only. And then I'm going to <clears throat> extend it. And there we go. So, basically, if you look on the TV, the dock is still there, but the desktop is right here. So that gives you more of a desktop space. So basically, if I were to open Chrome, I opened it, it's active, but it's now over here. And I can drag, simply, easy, like this. Watch it. There we go. See? It's just the stretching your desktop. If I put it over here again, it comes back again. 
So the audio, I believe, will not work unless you have something enabled. And let me show you. For example, this video by Dylan Woods. Do you hear the audio? Oh, I'm sorry, the mouse dropped. The audio is coming out of here, and it should be coming out of there. So the way to fix this, if I was to stop the video. <clears throat> so the way to fix that would be to go in your desktop. Let me fix the camera again. Oops. Sorry about that. And there we go. It's perfect. Just there. So the way to fix this would be to go in your desktop. You right click. And you scroll all the way down here to personalize. Then you go to the bottom thing right here where my mouse is. You click sounds. You click playback. Now it's not going to be now your TV audio is not going to show up. Uh, you know, for whatever reason. If it doesn't show up, then you just gotta... Hopefully it will work, but if it doesn't show up, let me show you what you need to do. So, right now this green HDMI cable... Let me... There we go. The green HDMI cable is what's connected to my computer. Just let me move my camera strap out the way. <clears throat> So all you need to do is unplug it, okay, and then try a different input. So I moved it up one. So now, as you can see, the DVI HDMI 2 input has nothing on it, and therefore it is... Uh, requiring a change so you're gonna wanna go to source list again if this is a Samsung TV you're using click HDMI 3 because that's what I moved it to and it's right there <clears throat> then you wanna go to since I make the camera perfect then you wanna go down here where's the mouse there it is sounds playback and now you see your TV's there. So when you open up another video, it opened on the other side, let me just look at it. When you open up another video, first of all you need to make sure it's set as the default device. Not your speakers that come with your laptop, but your TV. <clears throat> so when we go down here, back to that video again it's now playing from the TV and it's unfocused there you can you can do everything that your computer can do it's just a bigger screen you know you can make it bigger you know exit all these other things if you go into the corner, you know, you can you can change the projection settings from there. Oh, my bad. I clicked the wrong one. You see, you can... You can duplicate it. You can change anything you want. So, you just need to make sure that your speakers are the default device when you're using the audio through the TV by clicking Set Default right there. Thanks for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed and sorry for the shakiness there, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just drop a like, drop a comment telling me what you want me to do, you know, what you thought of the video, that kind of thing, and subscribe if you really enjoyed. Alright, signing out, see you later.